y'all welcome back to my channel why don't you get on here today and do a video about obsessions these are beyond favorites these things keep me up at night i just want to come over here and play in them i'm going to have some makeup some skincare and some lifestyle stuff before i get started though i'm doing this in collaboration with mary ellen i'm really gonna have to force myself not to gush over mary ellen she was one of the first two people i ever watched on youtube I loved her. She calmed me down before I even knew her, before I was turning 50. I would listen to her while I fell asleep at night. I just find her very calming. I love it when she does videos in her jammies. Then when I started my YouTube channel from the very first, she's been so supportive of me. And now I'm blessed to call her a friend. I'm just going to tell y'all what she does in case somebody here doesn't know her. Um, she does makeup, reviews, skincare, what I fell in love with her for. She does some lifestyle. She just does it all, and we all love her dearly. I love you, Mary Ellen. Okay, I'm just going to jump right into this, and I'm going to start with skincare. The first thing is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion Number 2. I have fallen so passionately back in love with this. I cannot even tell y'all. This is all I use in the morning now. I don't even cleanse my face. I'm like, this is all I need. This makes me feel clean, cool. Now, I think this has a higher alcohol content. That's what I've heard. I don't know. I haven't looked. But if that bothers you, you might research this. It doesn't bother me. I've used this for... 25 years and it's making me passionate about Clinique. I'm like, well, what else do they have? So I'm gonna say the whole line of Clinique. Okay, next and these are kind of in order Lancome serums. I am loving these so much the visionaire I use in the mornings It makes my face look better. These both make my face look better that day I don't know what they're doing long term. I use the Genifique and not and I love this I think this plumps the skin Dawn's Love Over 40 turned me Back onto the Genifique and I fell in love with this so I have two more of these maybe that will be here today from the Ulta sale and I love them then I'm feeling passionate obsessed with oils every night I mostly use the Kakai heard about this on Natalie the Beauty Diva and and then Laura Shake Up Makeup talked about it it just makes my skin feel good and then the Drunk Elephant Marula, I love this too. And I have a clearance oil I love. I just love oil. These are the two that I'm using right now. So these are the two that I brought before you. And when I put that on before the Tretinoin, it makes it smooth like butter. You know how Tretinoin can be kind of hard to get across your face? It's just such a tiny amount for a whole big face. That makes it just spread, just it glides on. I just love it. And then I'm always obsessed with my Tretinoin. I'm, I'm obsessed with this. I love it. I look forward to using it every night. I occasionally will give myself a break from it, but not very often. It's the point when I get this from my dermatologist. No, I think I got this one from Mexico. I love my Tretinoin. I'm obsessed with it. And I am suspecting that it's helping with my eyelids. Finally, I've been on it almost two years. That's the skincare I'm obsessed with. Okay, I'm going to move on to makeup. Right now, I have re-fallen in love hard with the It's CC because it's summer. I never go without this because of that 50. I use this as a luminous primer or mixed with other things for more of a cover. This is beautiful on its own, but I rarely wear it on its own. I use this as a primer and a sunscreen. I never miss this. I'm also obsessed with the Superstay. This has the best cover and it's so light. I wear this all the time. I'm either wearing this or the Dior Forever, but I'm obsessed with this one. I love it. Every time I put it on, I'm like, oh. That is so pretty. And I'm probably even more obsessed because it's from the drugstore. And it's Maybelline. I have a thing for Maybelline. I am re-obsessed with the MAC Pro Longwear. I love this as a touch-up. I have a lot of touch-ups that I love. The Laura Mercier, the Nars in the Pot. But I would say more often than not, I reach for this. It just gives the prettiest cover on a little baby beauty blender. Just dot it right here. It's what I have on today. Okay, I'm obsessed with makeup brushes. Uh, just makeup brushes in general. I pulled out a few of my favorites <laughs> to show y'all. This fan brush, Plush Mac. I knock shadows off with it, and then I just pat myself with it. I love my Real Techniques contour brush. I'm not even kidding y'all. This is used for about 5,000 things a day. I love it. I may need backups because I only have about four of those. My Real Techniques blush brush. I literally have about seven of these. This is the Morphe M504. Dip it in the residue of powder. Residue of powder, starting at the eyebrow, nothing blends eyeshadow like that. And this is the only brush I use for that. My Holy Grail Sigma E47 crease brush. 
yeah, every day of my life. And then the Wayne Goss brushes. I've said several times, I don't know if I would purchase this, but I love it. And I cleaned them last week. This white one over here, that's what they look like when they're new. Because I just washed them. And they look like little teddy bears. So I, I am passionate about my Wayne Goss brushes. I'm using up the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. I have fallen deeply in love with this. It feels real light. It doesn't look real powdery, but it's so blurring. Let's put a little of this on. I love it so much. It just is beautiful. And it's another one that I put on and just stare at it. I could use freshening up. Yeah, it's quickly going to the top of my list. I love it. I'm also obsessed with some small eyeshadow palettes, two that I'm obsessed with right now. The Max Semi Sweet Times 9. You can get a cool, you can get a warm, you darken, highlight. That's got it all. And then these Huda Minis. This is in the warm browns and it's greatness. Either one of these would do it all. I could take these two for a week long vacation and not wear the same look twice probably. Okay, this next one, I'm so obsessed with this that I left it out of the video and I'm doing this like three hours after the rest of the video. It's a purple undertone on my lips. I discovered this with the Buxom Wild Orchid. What I use this for is if it's too light and pink and I wanna add a bluer undertone. So for a demonstration, <laughs> put on the Natasha Denona Smoky Rose. That's it. It's on my lips and I'm gonna show y'all what this does. I've done this in another video, but it's such greatness. And then I'll show y'all the lipstick. Just adds a, I guess a purple undertone, but to me, it's like a blue undertone. It warms it up just a little bit, and I'm obsessed with this. I love it. It's a cool toned lip to go with cool toned eyes, and pretty obsessed with this. I love it. Okay, next, this African black soap. Because I'm horrible about washing my brushes, I keep this on this little dish that I got on Amazon, put it by the sink, and every day after I use my brush, I just get this wet, run it over the top of it. It's so easy and my brushes feel brand new. They are so soft, and they just feel new. So I love my African Black Soap. Heard about this on Marguerite's channel. I'm obsessed with the Jergens Natural Glow Wet because this allows me to not have to self-tan. To put aside 30 minutes of self-tan, no. You slap this on while you're still wet. It moisturizes, it tans you, it builds up. So this just gives me a nice base makes me where I'm not just pasty. So I'm loving this. A subscriber friend recommended this. Y'all have the best recommendations, y'all. I'm obsessed with my Michael Kors perfume. This is very sweet. I will tell you, it's very floral. Hold on, I'll tell you what this has in it. Okay, the Michael Kors perfume has in it tuberose, freesia, gardenia, and white lily, followed by sandalwood, suede, amber, and musk. It smells like white flowers. It kind of reminds me of a throwback to Alfred Sung. I just love it. Okay, next, and I'm gonna retouch on something that I've already touched on, and that is Lancome. I'm not only obsessed with their serums, I'm obsessed with French skincare, the people that use it, and seeing what their skin looks like after years of using Lancome. I'm obsessed that they rehired Isabella Rossellini. I'm obsessed with Isabella Rossellini. And when I used to sell it, the women that had used it for years, their skin just looked beautiful. So it really made an impression on me and I'm loving being back on it. I'm getting obsessed with Clinique, but I'm there with Lancome. Okay, some lifestyle. I'm obsessed right now with reading because I had put it aside for so long. And y'all, I've discovered this is the only thing in my life where I don't, I can't multitask. You can't multitask and get into a book. I'm, I'm always constantly, my mind is a million different places, but not when I'm reading. I just finished my second book for this year and I'm on to my next one. So I am loving my Kindle and reading, reading again. I'm passionate right now about, I'm passionate about my water right now. I'm drinking so much water because of my friend Mary Ellen. She was like, you don't need to just be drinking a little bit of water. You need to drink a lot of water. And I mean, she thinks that it helped with her under eyes over the years. I think, Mary Ellen, if that's not right, correct me. But I've started drinking so much and I'm not having to do as much under my eyes and my skin looks more plumped out. Now, it may be the Lancome serums, it may be just the water. I'm drinking so much I cannot even tell y'all. At least six to eight of these a day. 
It makes me feel good. It makes my head clearer. It makes my energy good. And I think it's doing wonders for my skin. Water, I'm obsessed with it. I'm really passionate right now about gluten-free. When L is for Living and Melissa55 put out their video, and a little before that, because I've been talking to L about gluten-free, I've always had nerve issues. I cannot tell y'all how much better I feel off of it. My joints don't hurt as much. I don't tremble during my workouts. My, my hands are steady. It's just doing me a world of good. And I really went on to gluten-free skeptical. Like, why is everybody sensitive to gluten? I didn't know anything about it. It really has made me steadier. And I um, could not be more shocked at how passionate I am about the gluten, the gluten-free. And then the last thing, and I know I'm going fast because I had so many things I'm seriously obsessing over all this stuff, is my ballerina bun. And I should have worn it. I'm passionate about that ballerina bun because it's so easy, y'all. There's a reason Tweety's grandmother always wore a bun. I sleep in it. I'll get four days out of it on one bun because it's a messy bun. So it's okay if it's messy. I work out in it. I sleep in it. I sometimes will spray it, but I forced myself to wear my hair down today. I was like, girl, put your hair down, do something. I'm going to do a tutorial over my ballerina bun. I'm going to get my daughter to do it, but I'm obsessed with my ballerina bun. I love it. Anyway, those are the things that I'm really obsessing over right now, and they literally keep me up at night a lot of times. I get so excited about it. Y'all go over and see what Mary Ellen is obsessing about. I cannot wait to see what my girl is obsessing about. That's all I've got for y'all. So hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.